The purpose of this video is to go over some essential skills that are just foundational to any of your work that you're going to do in Microsoft Word. You'll see a list of topics here that I want to talk about and I expect that a lot of these things that you've done before and you're already familiar with, if you're not, you really, really need to be uh, because they're just so, so important. The first thing is open. Um, how do you open a file? Several ways of doing this. One way is to click on this open button that's on the toolbar. You can also say file and open. There's also an open recent menu uh, that'll give you some options of recently open documents. So for example, I can um, pick any of these ones that I've had open recently. Like so. Now another thing we can do uh, is save and save as. Saving a file uh, actually saves the changes that you've made to your hard drive to make those changes permanent. And we can do that by clicking on the Save button or doing File and Save As. The difference between Save and Save As is when we click on Save As, we get the option to change the name or the location of where we're saving our document. Um, so if you need to change the name or you need to move, make a copy of a file to a different place, you can do that through Save As. Cut, copy, and paste is one of the most important tools for uh, document preparation. What it allows you to do is you select some text. You can right click on the text and say copy and then we can then right click and say paste and we've made a copy of that um, information. You can also do it through the edit menu um, so that we can say up here, say edit and paste and you can also do it with keyboard shortcuts. Typically, um, this is the fastest way of doing it. On, on, in Mac, you're going to do copy and paste with Command and C is cut, rather is copy, and Command and V is paste. Cut is like copy except the, the text actually goes away. So if I cut this word paste, you'll see that it actually disappears. But I can paste it back in with Command and V. Undo and redo, two really important things. Uh, what they allow us to do is to actually undo previous actions. You can see this button up here that says undo, and we can go through all the steps that we had previously gone through, and get back to a previous state. We can do the opposite of that as well, which is called redo. Notice there's actually little drop down boxes here which allow us to do multiple redo actions in one step. There are several different views in Microsoft Word that may or may not be useful to you. Typically, um, I like to keep mine in what's called this print layout view. Um, there are these shortcut buttons down here in the lower left which allow you to switch between the views. But you can also get to those through the view menu. You can see draft, web layout, outline, notebook layout, and publishing layout. Draft is another layout that, another view that may be useful to you. Another really big tool that you'll want to use in Word is the spell check and the grammar check. You'll notice we've got some misspelled words in this uh, sentence down here. The words that are underlined in red are misspelled and we can easily fix those by right clicking on them and then by clicking on one of these corrections and that will replace the misspelled word with the correctly spelled word. So just by easily right clicking. You'll notice that I also have a green underline on this word and and that's an error because uh, it's a it's a grammatical mistake that should be the word a so if I right click on that you see I can choose a to make that more correct now I get another grammar mistake which is that this is not a sentence it's a fragment and more doesn't even know how to help me fix that that's going to be on me so that's the spelling check and the grammar check lastly um, you should know that there is help built in to Word. Um, this is a tool that is a great resource. When you've got a question, you don't know what to do, click on the little question mark here, type in your question, or look up topics from this table of contents, and there's a lot 
of information to be gained by doing this. So this has just been a quick video on some of the very, very, very essential skills in Word.